Okay, hello my darlings, it's Michaela. So I wanted to make a quick video with a particular couple in mind who are traveling this evening overseas. And so the truth is, often when we do things that we don't typically do, we don't always necessarily think about using our bodies in a more supported way, i.e. moving luggage around. So the lovely lady of this pair let me know that you know their suitcases are on rollers, but what I really wanted to talk about was actually getting the bags off the turnstile and potentially putting carry-on in the overhead compartment. So when you are taking bags off of the um, off of the turnstile, a couple things that are really important. Useful concept, the closer the weight stays to you, the more control you will have over it. So none of this, like I'm gonna get my heavy bag from far away and then like pick it up with my shoulder and potentially hurt myself. Some things you might wanna think about when you're picking up your bag on the turnstile is to pack your shoulders. I'll attach that video in the um, description of this video and it'll be in this email. You wanna pack your shoulders and you wanna stick out your butt. And so basically packing your shoulders anchors your shoulders onto your torso, enabling you to capitalize on your lats and more of your body. And then sticking out your butt gets your hamstrings and your glutes start to, um, as you start to engage them for what you're gonna do next, okay? So basically, we're gonna pack our shoulders, we're gonna think about sticking out our butt, and then basically we're gonna kinda of get close to this bag, and at the very least, we're gonna hook onto it and we're gonna drag it off the turnstile, okay? Let it flop onto the ground, and then pick it up and roll it away. Or, if you wanna think about picking it up, packing your shoulders, sticking out your butt, and then essentially, we're kind of doing a deadlift with it. Maybe we're leaning it against our body, and maybe we're kind of, you know, moving backwards, letting this thing kind of slide down our legs um, up into a more upright position. But the whole thing is you don't need to do any sort of hero or heroine move with this heavy ass bag with a small limb from your body, okay? So packing your shoulders, sticking your butt out versus bending at your waist and trying to use your back. You wanna stick out your butt so you feel a stretch in the back of your legs. You wanna pack your shoulders and you're either just gonna hook into this thing and kind of drag it off onto the ground, no one gives a crap, or you're gonna grab onto this and basically kind of do a deadlift and then you can like <laughs> shuffle back. Um, with putting things in the overhead compartment, you always want to be packing your shoulders, okay? Whatever you're putting up there, it's probably larger than a, you know, a pamphlet or a book. It's probably something that's a little substantial. So packing your shoulders first, and then if you need a little more assistance than just being able to pack your shoulders and push it, pack your shoulders, dip, and think about using momentum from your legs, okay? Um, or ask for help. The whole thing is that um, with life, <laughs> as in life, as in exercise, never get hurt, okay? Do things to aim to never compromise your body so that you never get hurt. And so ways to do that is to always think about reinforcing your joints not having your lower back be able to be compromised, utilizing larger muscles, taking smaller muscles and smaller joints out of the equation. And when you're always kind of thinking about good form in life as an exercise, you will never get hurt. And if something is too much, you just won't be able to move it, okay? And then when in doubt, ask for help, okay? I think that's it. I hope that was useful. Please be in touch for any reason. If you need more help with body mechanics, understanding proper form, more assistance with exercise, 
um, there's a list of coaching and training programs that I'll put in here as well. Okay, um, I think that's it. Hope everyone is having a great new year. Love to all, and um, until next time.